Hi, my name is Marco Brown. I own a law firm in Salt Lake City, Utah. It's called Brown Family Law. We help people with divorce and child custody cases. I'm gonna to talk to you today about one of the most commonly asked questions on the internet about divorce, and that is, how do you secretly prepare for a divorce? There are really two ways. Okay, one is money, and two is a plan to get out. So when it comes to money, you can, squirrel away some money. You can stock away some money if you believe that that's necessary for you in, in order to pay for a divorce attorney. Uh, I know I know a fair amount of people who've done this. Most of the time, though, people just come in and they put it on a credit card and then they pay off that credit card, whatever they're going to pay us, right? They pay off that credit card when we sell the house at the end of the divorce process, okay? Here in Utah, Housing has just gone through the roof. People have tons and tons of equity in these homes. So we get to the end of the divorce process. They sell the homes. They have $100,000, $200,000 in equity. They just go pay off the credit card that they, they paid us with. So if you need to save that money first for your own peace of mind, go right ahead and do that. Realize you don't really have to. You can put it on a credit card and pay us and then get divorced that way. So that's the first way that people secretly prepare for divorce. The second, the most common that I've seen is people need a plan to get out. This happens very often in domestic violence situations. So there's an abuser, whether it's the husband or the wife abusing the spouse, and that abused spouse doesn't know what to do. They're scared and they should be scared. They've been trained to be scared, but they know they need to get out. So they have to come up with a plan. And maybe that plan is talking to family about how to get out. They're planning exactly when they're going to do it and how they're going to do it. How are they going to get the kids out with them? Are they going to do it while the spouse is around or not around? Not around, by the way. You don't want the spouse to be around. Um, they have to plan all of these things out. And they have to plan. Sometimes they have to plan how are they going to get the spouse out of the house? Because the spouse isn't really the, the house, the abuser. So they have to figure all these things out and then go execute on that plan. But to do that, you not only need to plan, but you have to have people helping you. So get family to help you, get friends to help you. Uh, if you have a good congregation, a church that you're a part of, and you're being abused and you trust somebody in there, go get help uh, from that person, maybe from your, you know, your faith leader. Uh, there are shelters that you can talk to as well that will help you plan. So there are resources out there if you're an abused spouse to help you plan to get out. But make that plan. And, and please, if you are being physically or sexually abused in your marriage, like plan it out. Get out. Get out as soon as you can. No, no one deserves that. Don't feel that you, have to, that you have to stay. I mean, I never fault people for trying to make their marriage work. But if you're getting physically or sexually abused, please get out. It's not good for you, and it's certainly not good for your kids. Okay, so those are the two ways that people secretly prepare for divorce. If you need help with your divorce, give us a call, 801-685-9999. I look forward to talking to you.